this video, we'll be teaching you guys my move Sanj. And it looks like this. So later on in this tutorial, we'll also be teaching a running version of this cut. So if you're interested in learning that, make sure you stay until the end. So to begin, you're going to start off in straddle grip, which looks like this. Then you're going to extend your thumb to the opposite end and break off a packet like you would for a thumb cut. Okay. Then you want to apply pressure downwards with your middle ring and pinky and let this packet rest on top of them like so. Then you want to bring this packet, packet back downwards by pushing downwards with your middle and ring. And you want to push this packet as far down as you possibly can until your middle can contact the bottom of this packet here. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your middle to pull this packet outwards. Right? And once you pull it out, immediately grab it with your index. So you should be gripping this packet between your thumb, index, and middle. All right? let me show you that again. So your middle is here, contact the bottom of this packet, pull it out, and index immediately comes over to grab the packet. All right? Once you're here, you wanna press downwards with your thumb and extend your middle and index outwards. You're gonna press down to your thumb until these two packets are now flat and parallel. Then, you wanna move your thumb away and push this top packet upwards with your index and it should flip over and on top of the other packet, closing it like so. All right. So once you're here, if you wanna get back into straddle grip, all you gotta do is let go of this grip here because you're gripping this packet between the flesh here and your pinky, right? So to bring him back to straddle grip, all you gotta do is let go of the grip here and let this packet fall on top of the rest of your fingers here, your middle and, end, uh, and ring, right? And you're back in straddle grip. Here's the running version of this cut. So if you wanna do the running version, you wanna start off doing the same steps until you reach this point here, right? Once you're here, this is the tricky part. You're gonna let go some cards with your thumb, right? And you're gonna do that by shifting the angle of this deck because as you do that, you'll notice that your thumb, as you shift downwards, contacts less of the surface here, okay? And so, as you shift downwards, your thumb should be able to let go of some cards. And these cards should be supported by your middle finger, right? And once they fall into this position, you wanna press inwards with your ring finger. And with your flesh here, you should be able to square this packet. Once you square them, you want to push up with your middle finger so that this packet falls on top of this one here. And you just want to repeat this process. So once again, thumb comes down here. Let, let's go of card, some cards. Support these cards with your middle. Square the packet with your ring. And push upwards with your middle. And you can repeat this as many times as you want. And for the last packet, you just have to do the regular cut. Press down with your thumb, move your thumb away, and close with your index. All right? So the hardest part of this move for most people is when you're doing the running version, people don't understand how you can let go of some cards here, right? So what I suggest you do to practice is to first just grab a packet in this grip here. Right. It's essentially this grip here, but without this bottom packet. Right. 
It will be easier to practice this way because that way you don't have to focus on clipping this packet here. So all you gotta do is practice letting go of cards here. All right, so basically twist your thumb downwards. And the way your thumb contacts this packet should shift such that you should be able to let go of a packet from the bottom, square it with your ring, and push it over with your middle. Right? And you can just practice like this. And once you get this down, you will realize that this is essentially this exact same motion as doing the regular cut. The only difference is you're clipping an extra packet here.